I was really taken by the natural beauty of the place and the, the waterfalls, the streams and the, um, the hills and also the beauty of the campus and the town itself. So just feel so um, so fortunate to be have the opportunity to come. Yeah. Yeah, and also even more than that, the people I have met and, uh, and today workshop with the teachers and uh, um, community artists, I'm just so impressed by the effort everybody is making um, to make the world better. So happy to be here. The workshop is a, is a lot of fun because um, I, people come um, really with mind open and heart open um, because they want to learn something new. And so with community building, it's very hard to, um, like I'm not a theorist, so I can't say a lot of words. And I think the easiest way is just do a, a series of exercise, which seems very um, casual and uh, kind of uh, um, funky sometimes, you know, and so, um, but um, when I, um, talk to um, the people and or when I explain to them it is all very um, carefully planned and so um, so usually we start with um, uh, a series of physical exercise and then also the singing so that you try to open up different kinds of channels in your body before we we, we start working and usually I get them um, to I separate them into groups and then um, what I'm trying to do is simulate a community building experience but in this experience it's um, open it's inclusive and it's democratic um, so and it's without it's nurturing and uh, without failure okay so how do you um, how do you I should not. I should take without failure because sometimes we do make mistake and fail. But you know, then we get up and continue again. But it's all inclusive and nurturing. So how do I do that? Is by um, by ask, asking everyone to contribute to a new open uh, open circle, open space. So everybody just bring themselves to the space and talking about what is most present emotion or thoughts and whatever in their mind. And so they would write that in simple words, which I call uh, called seed words, like three words. And then they would try to express that emotion, thoughts in visual, um, in visual in forms. So then this is what they bring to the field. It's like an open field. We all bring the seeds into the field. And then when they want to create this field um, of some ideas, some thoughts to express something, okay? So then they need to talk to each other. They need to negotiate and agree or disagree and so forth. So the process was very interesting because one group almost immediately responded and even by cutting the seed uh, words process and then start to, to, to build their, their structure and the three-dimensional um, uh, paper uh, sculpture. But another group, I mean different groups, having, um, having some trouble or you know, tearing paper to find their own space and so forth. But through the process, then there is a natural way um, people reaching out and uh, mending the broken paper and uh, weaving the different pieces and eventually they all create an amazing piece of artwork um, um, totally um, kind of surprising, surprise themselves. And uh, so we talked a little bit about the process of working and uh, why, um, why go through all the different steps and how they can apply and then asking um, them to share their experiences. Um, because we got into a lot of conversation, so we only were able to do the first part, which is the visual part. And then 
Usually when I do the workshop, I would ask them to take the seed word. Usually it's random, but together create a poem out of those seed word. So it's just when you talk, teach creativity, it's very difficult just to say, oh, go and create, right? But you, 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 you give some, you get something from everyone, and then you turn chaos into order, okay? And the, that space of trying to figure from one to the other, that's a very open creative space that I want people to enter and experience. Yeah, so, um, and a lot of time with movement, because usually we meet each other in verbal terms from our head. And then it, there, there are body language we can express, and then, or through poetry. I try to do that in the um, kind of um, respond and answer and kind of, you know, just marking the space and the time, yeah, so. But I think um, this group is very experienced and very um, ready and uh, very talented. And so I think whatever we experience this morning, that they will be able to um, take it into their own environment. So this afternoon, I just had a little conversation and everybody is eager and willing, but everybody has the different kinds of challenges. And so it's like going up the mountain or it's a journey as they express themselves. Sometimes there is difficulty, conflict, anxiety. And so how do you uh, recognize them and then take them with you, embrace them, and uh, in, embrace the difficulty and turn that into an opportunity of creativity is what we're going to explore this afternoon. And in addition, I think um, this is a community building through the arts workshop. So what I'm hoping is that through everyone sharing their, yeah, identify you know, where they are in a specific location, time, challenges, and resources, and then group them, group people with similar concerns together, and then see whether the group can negotiate a project. So I'm hoping to see maybe several projects emerging from this process that um, it could be um, nurtured and developed for Africa. I call what I do is a urban, uh, urban alchemy, urban alchemy. Um, yes, art has the power of transforming, okay? Transforming environment, people, and community. But not all arts do that. It's an art distilled through certain process and, uh, and, and the, 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 the creator, the participants, needs to share the goal of common good and not for selfish gains, it's for everybody. And so, um, in a way, when we do the creative process, we need to know the darkness, the difficulty, the whatever, but we need to stay in the light. And not only that, I think the, that's when we need the artists. We need people who are trained, who understand um, proportion, color, and you know things. Or people really have urgent emotion, need to find visual expression. That usually comes out like the Neolithic paintings and so forth. It comes out powerful and moving. So when the, it reach that kind of uh, um, potency, then it has the power to transform, okay? That, that's the first thing. Well, Anka's telling me that it's about time. Oh, she gave okay. Me the signal. So is that I just want to say one thing, okay? The, when art has that power, then it really is a powerful tool in building community and getting together and, uh, and the build a future. Low budget and the high uh, high result, yeah. And so that's what I want to share and urge people to do, yeah.
Thank you so much. Yeah.